My name is Deacon Nick Smith. My home parish is St. Augustine Catholic Church in Des Moines. And to, to start with my vocation story, I have to go back to my family. Uh, I was born the first of seven children uh, to loving parents right here in the Des Moines area and grew up in Des Moines my entire life attending St. Augustine Parish and school, uh, followed by Dowling Catholic High School uh, before I entered the seminary. I would say my vocation is the result of a lot of small seeds of faith being planted throughout my life, uh, starting of course uh, in my family, in the home where my siblings and I were taught the Catholic faith, where we were brought to Mass every Sunday, and really imbibed with uh, the Catholic faith. You know, we learned from a young age to see the world through the lens of faith, and that was very important to us. And I was really just a normal young kid. I enjoyed playing sports, uh, especially baseball. Later on in high school, I would uh, take up long distance running, uh, which really became kind of uh, a great source of friendship with my teammates uh, and a real great source of fulfillment for me. As far as uh, my vocation to the priesthood though, one of those seeds that was planted early on was to be able to serve at the altar. Uh, in the fifth grade, when I was 11 years old, I began altar serving, uh, which was a real eye-opener to me, not only because I was able to participate uh, in the liturgy and Mass uh, more actively, even at a young age, I wouldn't have been able to put it in theological terminology, but I think at a certain level, I knew that what was happening on the altar during Mass was really, really important that the words of the priest said to change the bread and the wine into the body and blood of Jesus were life-changing, uh, was a miracle. And again, that was just sort of a little seed that planted the idea, maybe, maybe I could do this, maybe God is asking me to do this. But I hadn't really started seriously thinking about that. My, my parents would encourage me to think about the vocation. Other people in the parish would uh, encourage me to think about uh, the vocation of priesthood, seeing my enthusiasm for, for serving at the altar. Uh, but it wasn't until later in high school that I really started to think seriously about the priesthood. Uh, in my time at Dowling High School, I continued to uh, and just engage in opportunities to, uh, to grow in my faith, uh, including serving Mass, going to adoration, uh, praying a little more often, in addition to just all the normal activities that, that I was engaged in. Uh, and I think of a certain moment uh, in my time in high school where I was praying in adoration, uh, adoration before the Blessed Sacrament, which was a consistent part of uh, my childhood growing up and, and into high school, where I really thought for the first time, I think it was a Holy Spirit moment, put the thought into my head, maybe God is asking me to minister at his altar, to be the one who changes the bread and the wine into the body and blood of Jesus through the power of God. Uh, that was a kind of a transformational moment for me. Again, just kind of a little seed. I wasn't completely convinced that that was going to be for me, but all of a sudden I saw the priesthood as something that could be for me. It's not just some far off life uh, for holy people that were much different from me, but that God could actually be calling me. Uh, by the time I was finished with high school, it was very evident to me that the next step had to be the seminary. Uh, I was 18 years old, just had finished high school, but I moved on to St. John Vianney College Seminary in St. Paul, Minnesota, where I really began to uh, dive into a life of, of prayer, of studying philosophy, of being around other young men who were also serious about their faith and serious about following the will of God. And it was really in the seminary where I think my vocation was truly confirmed and where I began to really love the priesthood as a life given over to God completely. And uh, I very much look forward to a li the life of priesthood, uh, this life of wholehearted service to God with an undivided heart. Uh, and so I look forward to serving you, the people of God, the people of the Diocese of Des Moines, as a priest.